Hi, I'm Eric King, Bend City Manager. Our first question today is about Juniper Ridge. There's been an agreement that looks like it's uh, going to be concluded with between the City of Bend and ODOT on a fix to the north end. And what does that mean? Well, the answer to that question is that there's uh, it's a multifaceted agreement that includes mi transportation mitigation to both the local street system and the state highway. The total package of improvements is about $50 million. But what this agreement does is it lets us it allows for some development to occur out of Juniper Ridge so that we can get the, the revenue in to make those transportation improvements happen. Uh, without this agreement, we would both be stuck, both the city and ODOT. Uh, so this agreement really gives us a plan forward. It has uh, four phases. The total number of trips that would be allowed to the Juniper Ridge development for about 200 acres of industrial land is about 2,200 trips. So a pretty sizable amount of development that can occur through this through this phased approach, which includes uh, fixed to 97, Highway 97 and Cooley Road, as well as a fix to other local uh, streets such as Empire, um, some ramp terminals uh, from the Parkway onto Empire and some other projects. The full agreement can be found on our City of Bend website. Our next question is regarding our surface water project. It's a fairly sizable infrastructure project for the City of Bend. What's involved? Um, how much does it cost and what are the impacts to our rates? Uh, first off, it's a roughly 57 to $70 million project, depends on some options that we choose. Uh, the project is necessitated by aging infrastructure. We have an 80-year-old pipeline from the city down, in, uh, from the, our intake facility down into the city. We also have to comply with federal mandates uh, for treating that water. And there's also an opportunity given the gravity um, uh, the thousand foot drop between our intake and the city to generate hydroelectricity which would provide some revenue to offset some rate increases to build the project. So all three components are part of this project and we are uh, first exploring the idea of looking at some alternatives as part of the, the uh, feasibility study and, and have looked at groundwater as an option in lieu of surface water. That, uh, the, the challenges with going to all groundwater and abandoning our surface water are that the capital costs are fairly sim similar, but the operational costs with the going to all groundwater are significantly higher. That decision has to be weighed uh, for the long term. And then we also have uh, uh, legal uncertainty with going to groundwater and having to comply with the recently adopted uh, Deschutes mitigation program, uh, which can be fairly complex and provide some legal challenges for the city. So that decision will be made here with count, uh, to council in the next couple of weeks. We also then need to make a decision about if we do reinvest in the surface water, what type of treatment option is chosen, and also whether or not we would proceed with a hydroelectric facility or we would uh, defer that to a later time. Thanks for joining us. Please keep sending us your questions and we'll answer them right here.